I'm Nixon Norman, and what happened yesterday should be a reminder for both cyclists and drivers that sharing the road with caution is important and could be a matter of life or death. Well, I understand that people tend to get upset at slower moving traffic, but remember, you know, we're, we're family members, we're mothers, we're fathers, we're brothers, we're sisters, we're kids. <laughs> um, we have every right to be there. We're not trying to ruin your day. Um, and just uh, have a little patience. It's a lot easier to step on the gas and go around than it is for a cyclist to speed up to 40 miles an hour. President of the local bicycle shop gives three tips on how cyclists can remain safe while biking and a reminder to drivers to give them some space. Be as visible as possible. Don't assume that someone sees you and ride predictably. Uh, don't make erratic movements and, and things like that where you're swinging out into the lane. And, and the law is, is, is that automobiles are to give you a three-foot cushion as they pass. The sheriff's office shares some tips as well for drivers. The word that comes to my mind is distracted driving. And uh, that, that is an issue, that is a problem that we're seeing every day. Um, people being distracted while they're driving, whether it be their phones, whether it be kids in the car, your radio, doing everything you shouldn't be doing when you should be paying attention to the, to the rules of the highway. We ask them just the same as we, we ask the bicyclists to make sure that you understand your surroundings, make sure that you know the times, the busy times to be on the roadway. Sharing the road takes some compromise on both ends, but sharing the road safely benefits everyone. Putting the Valley first, Nixon Norman, WZDX News.